guys here with a new video for the channel i hope you like it and if you like it don't forget to leave your powerful like supreme god level comment and subscribe now without further ado get comfortable let's begin the story would begin after the tournament of power ended and as universe 7 has been victorious goku and vegeta would continue to train very hard to increase their powers and one day overcome all the gods of destruction and his angels after a while, Goku was training on the planet of Kaiosama as in the old days. Perfect! This seems great to me. I have no doubt that I have become very powerful, but I can't reach Ultra Instinct again. But I'll definitely master it sooner or later. After a few hours, when Goku was already finished his training, the Saiyan would notice something strange since Vegeta's ki is rapidly decreasing. What the hell's going on? Why is Vegeta's key declining extremely quickly? I'd better go check if everything's okay. Wait, Goku. Before you go, I want to tell you something. What's wrong, Kaisama? What do you want to tell me? Remember that you and Vegeta will always be welcome on my planet. Don't forget that, since you are not a problem for me. Goku would not understand what Kaiosama would have meant, however being in a hurry would not matter and would use teleportation arriving in a few seconds at the capsule. I'll tell you something that Vegeta and you don't know. I was the one who gave the order to that damn Frieza to destroy even so they continue to be a hindrance to me now. Build you're a damn insect, I swear, I'll never forgive you for this. Come on Mr. Bills. Finish off that damn Goku, please. Grillin, I thought you were my best friend. Why are you doing this to me? I never considered you a friend. During all that time, you were always an acquaintance and always because of you, I always died on several occasions. And all you did was watch. Now all of you stop wasting your time and finish these two once and for all. Damn insect, I swear you're going to pay me. I won't annihilate you with an attack because you already have my daughter, Burra, in your arms. I'm very sorry, Vegeta, but Burra is not your daughter since your real father is Yamcha. How could you do this to me, Bulma? I'll kill that fucking bastard. Well, it's time to finish them both once and for all. Bills would raise all his monstrous power, however, Goku would not be left behind doing exactly the same thing, that is, Goku would go to Super Saiyan Blue maximum power. Damn, I swear I'll never forgive them! I'll destroy them with all my own hands! Bills would lunge at Goku, where both of them would have an amazing battle. That's right, the exchange of blows was impressive as they made the whole earth shake. Bills would catch Goku off guard and deliver a heavy blow that knocked him out that would make him fall to the ground. However, this at an incredible speed would have returned it to his face. But at that moment, Gohan and others would pounce on Goku and he would be having all the advantage being millions of times more powerful than them, being able to put the Z warriors in serious trouble. However, without holding back, Goku would have given each of them a few strong blows, leaving them all unconscious. All oh, of you are worthless. You're simple insects that will never be able to against my power. The Bills at extreme speed would have dealt with him a powerful blow that would knock him back a few meters. I'm still missing. Damn saying, don't you think you'll have the same luck with me, the most powerful god of the 12 universes? Why do you think everyone pounced on me in the exhibition tournament? I'm not interested in that. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I swear I will. However, at that precise moment, Mill and Gohan would arrive. Leave my dad. He hasn't done anything to you. He has protected this entire universe and this planet every time. Don't do anything to him, Mr. Bills. Please. That damn Saiyan is not your father. He's never cared about you. Goten would transform into a Super Saiyan by lunging at Bills, but Bills with a single finger would stop his attack and send him flying, leaving him very badly injured and on the verge of death while he fell to the ground in serious condition. Dad, please don't die. They don't know what they're doing. You're the savior of this planet. No. You're the saver of this universe! Goten would fall to the ground where Mill would grab him. However, at that precise moment, when Goku witnessed how Bills would have hit his son and was on the verge of death, a voice he would hear in his head. That's right, it's Kakaroto, the Goku dark side. 
Kill everyone! How dare you touch Goten! My son who was the one who trusts me! I... I... I'll not forgive you all! Damn! Why? 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 You're a Goten! Don't leave any fly alive! Kill them! And let them feel what true terror is! Kill them all! Get out of my damn head! That's right, Goku, with all his anger, would go through all his transformations, and he would get a new transformation. Goku would have reached Super Saiyan Rose, which with his part of his key was pure evil, Bills would be surprised due to everything the power it emanated. What, what the hell happened to you, son Goku? I can feel an incredibly powerful power. Kagoroto, how come you did the same transformation as Black? Why do I feel negative energy coming out of you? Goku, without saying a word, at a flashing speed, would have given Bills hundreds of thousands of blows that he couldn't see anything. I'll make you suffer as you have no idea! I'll play with you until I get tired. Damn God, show me that you're the most powerful God! Bills would stand up, and with multiple injuries, however, he would give a smile. Ha 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 ha! Don't think you can defeat me with that power. It's true, your power is incredible. But if I use 100% of my power, you won't be able to do anything against me. Bills began to increase his power in an incredible way. That's right, Bills was the one god who could access the perfect ultra instinct. But even a god could fear a mortal because not even the power was enough. Bills at a great speed would have hit Goku hard in the face. What did you say now, you dumb monkey? Feel the power of the great Bills. The God of Destruction! <laughs> Don't think you hit me because of your great speed. I let you attack me on purpose to see how incredible your power was. But, you're still the same human waste! Goku, with a powerful blow, sent him flying, very injured, despite the fact that the Ultra Instinct makes the body of its bearer move by instinct. Goku with the Super Saiyan Rose overcame that difference in power since he was furious watching how Bills hit his son. This is impossible! I can't believe it! How how did you have so much power? I'm a god! I don't care who you are. If you come to touch one of my loved ones, I'll not forgive you, and you dare to touch Gohaten! Goku would begin to slaughter Bills, beating him up. He even with Ultra Instinct could not do anything against him. The Saiyan who would have accompanied his negative side and was thirsty out of revenge, Bills very hurt and on the verge of death would rise once again. I can't lose. It's impossible for me to lose to a mortal. I'm tired. It's time to end your miserable life. You're worth nothing, damn cat. However, at that precise moment, this would attack Son Goku with extreme difficulty was able to dodge his blow. Perhaps you too, Wissan. What are they doing to this me and Vegeta? What the hell did we do? I'm sorry, Goku-san. You have been the best disciple I've ever had, but the job of the Guardian Angel is to prevent the God of Destruction from dying. Anyway, these are just orders. I'm not in that. I swear I'll kill them all, even if your wiss is against me. That's right, son Goku. You have overwhelming power, but before an angel, you still lack power. Goku charged at high speed, however, Whis dodged each and every one of his attacks. Damn, our power still can't compete with the power of an angel. Goku and Whis would exchange blows for a few moments, making everything around them shake, but Whis was only playing with Goku. Kakaroto had enough power to defeat that damn Bills, but Whis treats him as if he were a child. Seriously, excuse me, Mr. Goku. I don't mean to do this to you and Mr. Vegeta. Whis would increase his power a little more and would give Goku a strong blow to his neck that would make him collapse and fall to the ground very badly injured. I don't know how I'll do it. Sooner or later, I'll come back and take revenge on all of you without exception. I'll exterminate you. Whis would knock out Goku and Vegeta and he would return with Bill Sama. So, what will we do with Goku and Vegeta? It would not be advisable to kill them since someone could revive them and that would be a big problem for us. You could witness the great power of Son Goku. I'm impressed by all the incredible power that Goku showed. I can't believe it, but you're right, I know. Let's lock them in the time room and create a seal so they can never get out. It's alright, Mr. Bills. That's what I'll do. 
Wits and Bills took both Saiyans and went to Kamisama Temple, where they put Goku and Vegeta in the time room. When Viz came out with his immense power, he created a seal so powerful that no one would be able to come out unless the power exceeded that of an angel. Said seal was a special since not even with the Dragon Balls could make them come out. Wisp and Bills would leave planet Earth. That's right, they returned to their planet. Meanwhile, inside the time room, Vegeta and Goku would have already woken up. Damn it! The power of that damn Wiz was, was incredible! But we'll find a way to get out of here and kill them all! I agree with you, Kakarot. That damn place will not be able to retain the power of the Saiyan warrior race. Goku and Vegeta were in the time room. That's right, they couldn't do anything to avoid being locked up in that place. Damn, Vegeta! What do we do? If we stay too long in this place, we'll die of old age. You're right, Kakarot. One way or another, we must get out of this damn place. I have an idea, Vegeta. If we raise all our power, we'll be able to create a portal to take us to the outside world. Finally use the head, damn insect. Both Saiyans begin to increase their power in an incredible way. They pass to the Super Saiyan Blue and when observing that not even a small crack was formed, they were surprised. I'm not going to die in this damn place. I'll make all those bastards pay. Kaoken, increase 20 times! Goku's power shook the entire dimension of the void. However, it was not enough. Stop, Kakarot. It's useless. That damned Wiss must use his power to seal this dimension, and no power less than his will be able to get out of this damn place. Meanwhile, outside the time room, everyone was celebrating the death of Goku and Vegeta, since they would think that the Saiyans would die of hunger or old age. Finally, Goku and Vegeta will not be a hindrance in our lives. That's right, they already had me tired, they just wanted to train. Meanwhile, on the planet of Bills, he was very thoughtful because Goku's power level in an incredible way, and even being the most powerful god of destruction was not able to face him. Mr. Bills, is something wrong? Why is he so thoughtful? Nothing, Wiss. I just remembered the fight I had with Son Goku. The power he showed was overwhelming. That's right, Mr. Bills. I even forced myself to use 15% of all my power. Bills would continue to think about the matter. In the entire palace, there was a Daishenken who would say to himself, So Bills, the god of Universe 7, fulfilled the mission of exterminating the Saiyans, Goku and Vegeta. I'll have to tell the king of everything. After a few moments, Daishenken would come to the front and bow. Great kings of everything. Your request was fulfilled. The key of the Saiyans of Universe 7 has disappeared from this world. I didn't want this to happen to my friend Goku. It's the best, believe me. That mortal only brings destruction everywhere he goes. Going back to the time room, Goku and Vegeta started training. Kakarot, you can't die in this place. And if it is to overcome the power of the damned Wiss, we will. However, at the precise moment, Vegeta realized that Goku's party was given off an impressive dark key. Kakarot, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Uh, uh, I'll kill them all! I'll give my damn life for you, and all you do is betray us! We will kill you! At that moment, Goku's hair would turn pink. That's right, Goku reached the transformation of Super Saiyan Rose for a few moments, and would fall to the ground out of combat, as his body was not used to such power. What is happening to Kakarot? I can feel a very powerful evil key within him. Vegeta would continue training to raise his power in an impressive way and be able to leave said dimension. However, at that precise moment, a voice would ring throughout the time room. Mr. Goku, Mr. Vegeta, it is me, Kami-sama. I'm sorry for everything they did to you, but I was waiting for nightfall so they wouldn't suspect anything. What's up, Bug? Kakarot's unconscious, so tell me. Mr. Vegeta, Mr. Wiss even modified the time room. What here is a day in the time room is ten years. What are you saying to me? Damn. But don't worry, I just gathered the seven Dragon Balls and with the help of Shenron, I asked him to give you eternal youth. I trust that you will find a way to get out of that place. Of course. Yes, damn insect. We'll leave this place and kill all those bastards. 
At that precise moment, Goku would regain consciousness. What happened? Why does my head hurt so much? However, at the moment, a voice would echo in his head. It is me, Son Goku, your evil part. The part that was sealed in you when you hit your head. What? And why are you awake until now? I always wanted to do it, but you had a pure heart which prevented me from even talking to you. Wow, I see. Tell me, what do you want? What even you want? I want revenge. A damn cat dared to hurt our son. If you and I get back together, we'll get back to form a single being. Our power will be so much that no one will be able to stop us. Form a single being? You don't live in me? I don't understand. No, Goku. When you hit each other, you and I formed different paths and I kept 65% of all your power. That's why when I offered you a little of the power of Super Saiyan Rose, you were able to defeat Bills. And do you keep 65% of all my power? That's right, but even if we join together, this would be much more powerful than a fusion. If we entered that form, we would have much more power to finish off that damn... No! I just want to take revenge on them. I don't want to destroy anything else. I feel that your power is absolute evil. Now get out of my head! Vegeta would turn back to look at Kakarot. What's wrong, Kakarot? Do you feel better? That's right, Vegeta. Don't worry. These began to train because much more powerful than a god of destruction, a guardian angel, and even the king of everything, they trained very hard. However, Goku's heart was filled with incredible evil every day. One day, Goku would take the initiative when he felt that his power did not increase as quickly as it did before. Kakaroto, are you there? I'm always there, son Goku. Don't forget I'm you, and you are me. If I accept a return to form a single being with you, what'll happen to me? You'll be much more colder, and your power will grow in an unreal way. Okay, Kakaroto. I agree to return to form a single being with you. Kakaroto, will you do it? Are you sure you are what you're doing? That's right, Vegeta. I'm not going to give those damn one more time. Meanwhile, outside of that place, approximately 15 days had already passed in which everything would happen normally. That's right, every day they forgot more about Son Goku, but Goten did not forget about his father. I don't know that my father will return. When he returns, I have to be as powerful as him. I don't want to disappoint him. Goten would start training alone to increase his power. On the other hand, on the planet of Bills, Bills and Whis were talking and walking. At that moment, a portal opened in the sky. That's right, it was Daishenken Sama. G -g 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 Great Daishenken Sama! Uh, to what do I owe the honor of your visit? I have come to make sure that both Saiyans are dead, as I have a very bad feeling about all this. Daishenken would say to himself, I hate mortals, but Zeno Sama does not. I do not understand what his sudden change has been, and I do not like this at all. I can even feel how a great negative energy overflows from the Xenosama of the future. Of course, father, don't worry. He can investigate everything he wants. They are Goku and Vegeta, the most powerful mortals in Universe 7 have died. It's alright, Whis, I'll trust you. Dainshinken, upon arriving at Xenosama's palace, would be greatly surprised to witness only one king of everything. What happened to the other Xenosama? We have merged. We have formed a single being, and now that we have this great power, no one will interfere in our affairs. What business, my king? And why do I feel such sinister key coming from you? Daishenken! With me, you must not pretend. I know that you can clearly realize that I'm not the same Xenosama of this time. My power is pure evil, because I am not Xenosama. Who is this? How are you in the body of Xenosama? I am the negative energy of the six universes destroyed by Xenosama, and we are looking for revenge. We want to destroy everything created by him, and I know that you hate mortals. Tell me, Dai, will you join me in total annihilation? So you are not Xenosama, but you are much more mature than the Xenosama of my time. So that's fine. I'll help you in all your tasks, new king of everything. 
so it was you who ordered the death of Goku and Vegeta. That's right. Since I felt the great power of Son Goku, and if I left him alive in the future, it could become a great nuance for all my plans. Meanwhile, in the Time Room, both Saiyans were training, which would have achieved incredible powers. Goku would have mastered Super Saiyan Rose Phase 2 and could achieve Super Saiyan Rose Phase 3 for about 15 seconds, while Vegeta would have managed to reach the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Phase 2 and also managing to access the Super Saiyan Blue Phase 3 for a short period of time. However, his transformation was not compared to Goku's Super Saiyan Rose. We have become more powerful, Vegeta, but it's still not enough. We'll be the strongest beings of the 12 universes. Of course, Kakarot. And we'll kill the damn Bills, since it is his fault that we are in this damn place. That's right, Vegeta, but there's something that doesn't add up. I don't know what it is, but I feel that something isn't right. It's just your imagination, damn insect. So let's start training to be much more powerful. Meanwhile, in Xenosama's Daishinkan Palace, he would have already returned any informing all the gods to annihilate all the more powerful mortals and not leave any of them alive. Finally, I have the revenge that I wanted so much, there will be no one who can stop me. Yet at that precise moment in his head, you will not achieve your goal. I know that a warrior will appear who will have the power to defeat you. Ha ha ha! That will be impossible. I have ordered to annihilate all mortals of great power. Now they are no longer useful to me. It disappears from me. Xenosama, with an ability to erase, tried to eliminate all traces of the other Xenosama's essence. However, this one with great power and knowledge was able to leave his body. This one was only spirit. Xenosama wandered through all the universes until he felt a known power, but with some evil, it was the power of Son Goku. Meantime, in the time room, Goku began to raise his power in an impressive way, managing to open a tiny portal, through which a light at extra speed would enter. What the hell? What is this? Hello, friend Goku. It is me, Xenosama. There's no time for explanations, but you just have to know that my counterpart from the future is going to order the annihilation of all mortals of great power, and my spirit will merge with you. I trust you, Goku. So the one impossible for all this for that damn dwarf! I swear I'll kill him. At that precise moment, Goku began to increase his power in a supernatural way to the power of Xenosama, to be flowing through his power of Xenosama. That's right, Goku begins to increase his power in an incredible way and acquire a celestial divine form. His clothes would have changed to the clothes of the king of everything. Vegeta would be surprised by the power. That Kakarot came off. Kakarot! Are you okay? His power! It's incredible! Meanwhile, inside Goku's mind, Friend Goku, the other Xenosum, I don't know what has happened to him, seems like a totally different person. But he has already begun with the total annihilation of all mortals. So that damn dwarf is responsible for everything. Don't worry, Zenchan. I'll finish that damn thing and bring everything back to normal. I trust you, friend. I have given you all the power I had left. Going back to the time room, Goku would have reached a celestial divine form. He would have achieved the Super Saiyan Phase 3 Ultra Instinct. However, his power was absurdly incredible by combining the cells of a king of everything and a Saiyan. Goku, unable to withstand all that power, fell to the ground untransformed and badly injured. A noticeable change was this close. They would have changed to a black similar to Black Goku. After a while, Goku would wake up, but even in his base state, his power was gigantic, being able to face a god of destruction. Kakarot, are you okay? Yes, Vegeta, but the one behind the Xenosum of the future, apparently, he has corrupted all the gods and angels. What the hell are you saying, Kakarot? How do you know that? And where did you release so much power from? Even your appearance changed to the outfit that Xenosama wore. That's right, Vegeta. Apparently someone lives in the body of Xenosama from the future and is controlling everything. And my power, the Xenosama of this time, granted it to me. To this end, all of this. But he also left something for you. 
Oh, yes. The dwarf from the future is the cause of all this. What the hell are you talking about, Kakarot? What did the great Xenosama leave you? Receive this Vegeta and overcome your limits! Goku would have launched a highly compressed sphere of energy towards Vegeta, which would enter his body. At that precise moment, Vegeta began to increase his power in an absurdly incredible way. Vegeta would have reached the form of a true god, achieving the Ultra Ego maximum power. This power is amazing. I never thought I would go so far. Thanks, Xenosama. I won't waste any of your power and I'll finish off all these damn... Goku and Vegeta began to train their new powers. Since Ki being so dense made them slow, and it didn't matter what power they possessed, they became so heavy they couldn't win a battle. Meanwhile, in the King's Palace of Everything, there was a very thoughtful Xenosama. Daishinken, come immediately. Daishinken would arrive bowing. Tell me, my lord, what is offered? I want you to gather all the gods and also the Super Dragon Balls. I have a very bad feeling. Whatever you order, great Xenosama. Daishenken would leave the king's palace of everything. Firstly, he gathered the seven super dragon balls, and secondly, he informed each god that they must go to the king's palace of everything for an emergency meeting. After a while, all the gods arrived at the king's palace. I'm glad that you all are in this place. What I have to tell you is that a danger is approaching. So train, and with the help of your angels, train even in other dimensions. Something is going to happen, and we must be prepared. As you order, great Zeno Sama. Just as they listen to the great king of everything, all the gods must have a high level of power, since even I am going to undergo a difficult training. Even you, great Daishenken? Yes, god of Universe 7 Beerus. Since I also have a very bad feeling. Oh, by the way, I'll test his powers myself. If they do not have enough power, I will exterminate them. All the gods were shocked and a little afraid to hear the words of the great priest. That's all. Now you can go back to your respective universes. Everyone can come back, except Beerus. I need to talk to you. As all the gods left, Daishenken would put on a serious look. Beerus, I trust you too much. You are the most powerful god amongst the twelve gods. Even your power suppresses most of the angels. That's why your guardian angel is Wiss, the most powerful angel among all. I hope you raise your power of an incredible way, since I feel that the cause of this will be the Saiyan Son Goku. That's impossible, since I just take care of those damn Saiyans myself. I don't know. I hope it's just the king's imagination and mine. But that's why we've gathered the Super Dragon Balls. Get out of there, Great Zama, and fulfill my wish! A great dragon would appear and throughout that universe, that's right, the god of dragons would have made his appearance. Tell me, what is your wish? Great god Zarma, as you are being that you can fulfill any wish, what will happen to this entire megaverse in the next 12 months? Can you let us watch? This wish is very easy to fulfill. In approximately 12 months, no one will be left alive. Because an extremely powerful being will destroy every god, angel, and including the great priest and the king of everything, Xenosama. Beerus and Wiss were surprised by what the great god Zarma said. Zarma, at that moment, with his great power, made them observe. They were able to observe in their minds how a being made the twelve universes tremble in the annihilation of each one of them. I have fulfilled your wish. Now I am retiring. The Super Dragon Balls dispersed through the universes six and seven again. Now you know what is my concern, or not. God of the Universe, Seven Beerus. I understand, Great Priest. I don't know. One way or another, we will become very strong and change all that destiny. Knees would leave the kingdom altogether. However, Beerus was very thoughtful. He would be very nervous about what was going to happen. He would say, I'm sure that Goku and Vegeta must have died of hunger or old age. This can't be real. Look at him very thoughtfully. 
Great Beerus-sama, is something wrong? Hey, Wiss, is there a way someone can get out of your eternal seal? Until today, that has been impossible, but if you, like we, can go out, since as I put the seal, I can enter and leave without any problem. That's right, Wiss. That would leave me much calmer, but we'll still train. Meanwhile on Earth, a few months have already passed, in which nothing new would have happened. However, one moment to another, a strong power is felt. It was the great emperor, evil Frieza, the warriors Z, were to face them. However, they were not able to achieve anything since Frieza would have trained since the end of the Tournament of Power. Where is Goku? I want to fight the damn monkey. Everyone would remain silent. However, Goten would reach the battlefield, transforming into Super Saiyan Blue, leaving everyone surprised. But the most surprised was Gohan. Goten, how did you get that transformation? I haven't seen you in so long. That's none of your damn business. Goten and the Emperor of Evil Freezer began with a great battle. However, the clear difference was noticeable since Frieza was only in his final form. You are the youngest son of Son Goku. Tell me, what happened to your father? Those damn who called themselves his friends have betrayed him along with Mr. Vegeta. Frieza would give him a strong blow, leaving him out of combat. Ho ho ho! So it's your fault that Goku's not in this place. Now there's no one to face me. I'll destroy this planet. Those damned are no longer on this planet. And even so, they cause us problems because of them. We're going to die. However, at that precise moment, Beerus and Whis would arrive stopping Frieza. Do you want me to destroy you? You don't compare to my power. A few months ago or years ago, those words would have scared me. But now I have the power to defeat you, Beerus. Furious Beerus launched into the attack, but at that moment, Frieza passed into his golden state and with a powerful blow, he knocked the god to the ground. But what the hell? How could you hit me? I told you, now I am much more powerful than you. Beerus, very furious, would launch the attack. Frieza just dodged each of his blows without much effort. Now I will give you back all the humiliations you did to me so many years. Frieza began to slaughter Beerus in an incredible way, leaving him on the brink of death. Frieza would become stronger than Beerus next time. I have not mercy on any of you. Frieza would leave the planet Earth, but he also felt strange. One of his soldiers, realizing this, would tell him, Big Frieza, are you okay? I never thought that Son Goku would be my motivation for even I, a prodigy, to train. Don't bother me again. Take care of this whole universe while I return. That's right, Frieza began a hibernation since no one was a match for his great power. I hope to see you again soon, damn monkey, and have that great battle. On the other hand, in the Room of Time, were our Saiyans who already had a surprising power. I think it's time to leave this place. That's right, damn insect. Let's show those worms who's the true king. These began to increase their power and managed to open multiple space-time cracks. However, before leaving, they felt an immense power from one of the many dimensions. Who is this amazing power? Those are the powers of the Supreme Gods. The gods that not even a king can control at all. What? Are their gods more powerful than the king of everything? That's right. And they are called the Supreme Gods. This sounds very interesting. And it'll be a great help of our training. Both Saiyans would enter the portal, appearing in space. However, the power of the king of everything, they could breathe without any problem. At that moment, a subject at extreme speed would have a powerful blow to both Saiyans, causing them to collide against the planet and destroying them with its impact. What the heck? Who the hell is the you fucking insect? The power of your punch was absolutely amazing. Goku would stand up. Why are you attacking us if we haven't done anything? What's wrong? I am Hydra, one of the supreme gods. 700 years, nobody has come to my territory since they know what awaits them. Now you are my prey. Hydra launched the attack, not giving Goku and Vegeta time. 
He began to massacre both Saiyans, leaving them on the ground very- Goku and Vegeta began to increase their powers in an incredible way, that even Son Goku's power made the whole universe rumble. And with a surprising scream and a smoke screen, these appeared in their combat form. Wow, wow! I can see that they have great fighting power, but not even with that power will they be able to defeat me. I'm the fifth most powerful supreme god among the twelve. With their powers, they will not even be able to touch me. I would not trust that much. We are mortals who have reached a great power that of a god, and we are even above the angels. Ha ha ha! Don't make me laugh. Not even the useless king can beat us at all, and they think that only you, some Saiyans, will be able to beat us, the supreme gods. What a good joke. However, at that moment, Vegeta, at an extreme speed, would have thrown a powerful blow at the god with the extreme difficulty the god was able to dodge. Ha <laughs> ha, you damn insect. Apparently, you're not so amazing after all. From what I could tell, was that, with great difficulty, you managed to dodge my attack. That damned one almost managed to reach me with his power. But what the hell is happening here? I can't feel a great power coming from these. However, with his attack, he almost managed to hurt me. Go, Vegeta! I can see that you began to dominate all that dense key. How can I not master this damn key? If I am the Great Vegeta! Don't think so damn Saiyan, just for having been a little bit from hitting me. Without warning, the god received a furtive blow from the Prince of the Saiyans, which made him kneel in pain. What do you say now, you damn insect? Hydra furiously tried to stand up. However, Vegeta's leg would put on her head, making him kiss the floor. That's right, the Prince of the Saiyans was demonstrating his overwhelming power and authority. Apparently, it won't be necessary for me to intervene in this battle. Vegeta's power is powerful enough to end the life of that pathetic god. Hydra would give a loud scream, which increased his power and formed a shock wave, causing Vegeta to quickly retreat. A very furious Hydra would launch into the attack, of which Vegeta would dodge each of his blows, making it impossible for him to even hit a single blow. What the hell? How do you have so much power, damn Saiyan? Our power now is not below supreme deities like you, since we possess the power of the king of everything. Vegeta would give him a powerful blow that would shake everything around him. The power of that blow would have been so much that it would make the god too affected. Meanwhile, in another place of that megaverse, the Moss power full god of the 12 supreme gods was found. Ha ha ha. So two Saiyans have the power of a king of everything. This will be fun, and no god in this place is able to deface me. However, at that moment, a being with a peculiar appearance would approach which seemed like a demon. Great Broly, do you really think that those two Saiyans are rival for you? You're not a normal Saiyan, your power goes beyond anything known. You are the great legendary Ultra Super Saiyan God. I don't know if they are worthy of my power, but I want to test their powers. From what I can feel, they both have the power of a king of everything. Going back to the battle between Vegeta and Hydra, it was clear that Vegeta was totally dominating the battle. However, in an oversight of Vegeta, Hydra was able to land a sneaky blow that would make him go back a few meters. Your power is really amazing. But even so, you can't compare with the two most powerful beings in this place. Now I will use all my power! Hydra began to increase her power in such a bestial way that it would make everything around him start to tremble. However, Vegeta would be very confident. No matter what you do, your destiny will be death. Since without doing anything about it, you wanted to kill us. You found yourself death. Hydra would not pay attention to Vegeta's words. At that precise moment, Hydra, at an amazing speed, would have given Vegeta a blow that would make him spit blood. However, when he used the power that goes beyond a god, his vitality would be wearing out fast. Meanwhile, returning to the time room, 
Whis, with his immense power, was able to enter the time room with Beerus. That's right, both of them were very surprised when they saw that there was no one, but at that moment their bodies felt a chill. Since even up to that dimension, one could feel the intensity of said battle that was taking place in a place far away from where they were. Whis, uh, what the hell has happened to this place? How did these two bastards get out of this place? And if I'm not wrong, the pressure you feel is from Vegeta. Beerus and Whis could not feel the power of Goku or Vegeta because their power was in another dimension. They were in the dimension of power of a king of everything. I don't know, Mr. Beerus. This is impressive. Mr. Goku and Vegeta really managed to get out of this place. And in effect, that great pressure is from Mr. Vegeta, who seems to be fighting with someone very powerful. Both deities would come out of the time room with an expression of horror. We must inform the high priest what happened, so that this same Daishenken with Xenosama take action on the matter. Returning to the battle, Hydra's power had risen so much that he was putting the big Vegeta in a bind. This is what you wanted, damn! Let him fight seriously, and find out something. This is all the power of the Great Hydra! Vegeta would stop his next attack with one hand and smile. And have you seen me use all my power? I'm just using a power similar to yours, and I want to end all hope you have, damn. Vegeta at that moment increased the power of Super Saiyan Blue Phase 3 to 75%, with which a surprising pressure fell on the Hydra God. Who are these guys? I can't breathe! Its pressure has cut out my breath! Feel a bit angry. This is the agony that we feel when beings with the title of God want to take advantage of us. However, at that precise moment, a subject would have given Vegeta a strong kick which flew hundreds of thousands of kilometers. The blow of that being would have arrived was overwhelming. What is the powerful Isabrary Yakua doing here? The new subject would have arrived named Ryota, who would stand in front of Hydra. Get out of here, Hydra. You don't have enough power to defeat them. From the beginning, you should have realized, so don't treat everyone as if they were inferior to these two Saiyans have beaten you up. But the great Yakua, I want to help you. Between the two of us, we can finish them off. Go away. Obey. Hydra would leave the place in very bad conditions. Damn, they were going to pay me. I won't let them get away with it. I'll tear them to pieces, damn worms. Vegeta would come out of the rubble a bit confused, due to the powerful blow almost knocking him out. So another damn has come to seek his death, but at least it seems that you're much more powerful than the other worm. I apologize on behalf of my partner. If you're going to stay in this multiverse, you can do it, but don't forget that we're all beings of great power. Nakua turned his back on Vegeta and was about to leave. Damn! Who do you think you are? I have not given my approval for you to leave. I will make you suffer in the worst possible way! Vegeta launched into the attack at that precise moment. Ikua formed an ice sword with which he hit the great prince of the Saiyans hard, leaving him very badly injured. I don't want to have a battle with you, Saiyan. Our power is as distant as heaven and dearth. Unlike all the supreme gods, the three most powerful have such great power that we are able to face a hundred supreme gods or more and defeat them without any difficulty. Do you know? I don't care if you're the most powerful supreme god or if you're able to face a hundred of them. You can't with me. I warned you, Saiyan. I didn't want to end like this. Yakua, from one moment to another, he began to beat Vegeta, that even he couldn't see anything. Even I find it difficult to follow the speed of that god. What kind of power does he have? Eternal Ice Prison! Supreme Nine Pillars! A large ice barrier was present, with which would keep Vegeta inside. Lowering the temperature to extreme levels, Vegeta would hit the prison. However, the Nine Pillars made all his attacks return to the wear with double energy. Damn, damn, damn! Why is it so powerful? But I... I do not lose! I'll show you all my power! 
That's right, Vegeta began to increase all his power. Vegeta would have gone to his new transformation called Ultra Ego. Vegeta's hair would turn purple, characterized by the aura of the gods of destruction. This damn barrier would not be able to contain my great power. Vegeta cracked the barrier with a powerful blow. Apparently, this being has great power. Even my barrier, with which I use 20% of my power, has managed to crack it. Apparently, that guy forced Vegeta to use all his power. This is incredible. I didn't think that the being that wasn't Xenosama would force him to go so far. Vegeta continued to attack the barrier, and over time, Vegeta managed to completely destroy it. I must congratulate you. No one would have managed to get out of my barrier of nine supreme pillars. For that small feat, I will take you a little seriously. Uh, a little? Damn, don't you underestimate me! Vegeta launched into the attack. The collision of the fists was impressive since the entire multiverse was affected. So Yakuya is fighting with those Saiyans. This would be a perfect opportunity to see what those Saiyans are capable of. Iku and Vegeta continued with their exchange of blows, however, Iku was only playing with the Prince of the Saiyans. I'm already bored of this game. It would be better to end this battle once and for all. Yakuya gave Vegeta a powerful blow which would send him flying, beginning to charge a large sphere of energy. Vegeta recovering from the blow observed that Yakuya was carrying a large sphere of energy. I'll also charge my most powerful attack. That damn thing was not able to be against me. Vegeta began to gather a large amount of energy. Receive the big final glow! Your simple power will be no match for the ultimate ice attack. Both attacks began to collide. The level of his attacks was supreme, as he even destroyed the planets that were nearby. How is this damn thing holding back my final blaze? <laughs> I'm not even using half of all my power. Yakuya focused much more power on his attack, exterminating Vegeta's. However, before his clash with Vegeta, Goku would stand in front of him, and with one hand he would make him disappear. I see you're very powerful, but the real battle is about to begin. Goku would have pulverized that big attack with a single blow, saving Vegeta from being exterminated. So my suspicions weren't wrong. You had a greater power than this guy. So you have noticed that? Well, that's right. I'm much more powerful than Vegeta. Kakarot, even though you have the power of a king, don't trust yourself at all. The power of that damn worm is amazing. Not even with my maximum power was I able to scratch it. Vegeta would have fallen to the ground unconscious without any energy. I told you the same thing I told your partner. I don't want to fight. The three most powerful gods don't compare to the rest, and that's right, your power won't be enough to face me. I see that you are very sure of your words. I hope you have the power to support them. Goku launched into the attack in Super Saiyan Rose. However, Baikuya's dodged the blow with extreme ease, managing to hit him with a blow that would send him to the ground. I told you, you don't have the power to face me. Better get out of this place and stay in any territory you want. Your power is comparable to the normal supreme gods, but not to the three most powerful. Apparently, with you, I'll have to use all my power, because I'm not going to hold back! The entire multiverse began to shudder. An incredibly amazing power overflowed from Son Goku. This step directly to his phase of the king of everything Super Saiyan 3. The power that gave off was brutal. So that Saiyan thinks to fight against Hydra. It'll be a great show. The power he hides is incredible. We hope that he'll be able to face the Ice Emperor Bakuya. Your power is incredible, but even with that bestial power, you won't be able to face me. Goku, the power you emanate is incredible. But it won't be enough for this supreme god. His power goes far beyond what you can imagine. I know, but I want to face it with everything I have. Get ready! Don't intend to contain me! Goku launched himself at maximum speed, launching a blow at Bakuya's face, which he would dodge. However, this time, it would have been too difficult for him to dodge said attack. 
The air slingshot was devastating. Some planets would have disintegrated with a simple blow. Bakuya would say to himself, The power of this guy is incredible. If he faced any of the rest of my teammates, he would tear them to pieces in a few seconds, with the exception of the Super Saiyan Ultra God Broly and Ryota. Goku would not stop attacking. With his maximum power, he began to throw a shrapnel of blows at him, which was putting Bakuya in more and more trouble. I can't believe it! The power of that Saiyan is incredible, and from what I can feel, he has the essence of a king of everything in his body. Meanwhile, in the king's palace of everything, Beerus and Whis would have arrived. What happened? By their looks, I could tell that it's not great. That's right, father. But what you have informed us has been real. The prophecy is being fulfilled. G -g 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 great Daishenken sama. The Saiyans Goku and Vegeta are not in the room of time. And when we entered that place, we could feel how they were fighting against other beings with great powers. This really is catastrophic. There's nothing we can do. Of course there is something. We are the most powerful deities of the twelve universes. Time does not influence us. But great Xenosama, even the great god Zarama has said it. There's nothing we can do. Of course there is something, Daishenken. Take care of closing all the dimensions that connect with the room of time that Beerus tells us about. Is this even possible? There are infinity of dimensions. Such is not as possible. What I do is seal the room of time again with even greater power. If the prophecy is true, they will come out, but we will have much more time to prepare for this great battle that is coming. God Beerus and Angel Guardian Wiss, you as the two most powerful beings blow Daishenken and me. Train very hard. We will inform the rest of the gods. As you order, Great Xeno Sama, we will not let the prophecy come true. Whis and Beerus would leave this place, they would return to their planet, where Beerus, being a prodigy, would never have trained. By training this achievement, breaking all his limiters, something similar was happening in each of the universes. Returning to the battlefield, they would continue fighting, since the time difference was somewhat brutal, while outside a few days would have elapsed. In said universe, they had only been fighting for 14 minutes. I can realize that your power is abysmal. Not even with the power of a king can I completely defeat you. Power of a king of everything? Did you murder the king of everything of your megaverse? Damn Saiyan! I thought you were good-hearted! Bakuya began to attack with much more power, causing even Goku to find himself in trouble. Get this! Ultimate Ice Element Prison? DIE! Bakuya would have used his elemental prison, which at the moment of any warrior being inside, the same ice made his body freeze, and any energy attack or blow was returned to its carrier. Goku realized this, when he hit to achieve, get out of said prison, and his arm destroyed. What the hell is this? This subject is going to kill me! However, a voice inside him would rumble, saying, hit this place. This barrier isn't so surprising after all. Who are you? And how are you inside of me? Goku would not have received an answer. However, he would listen, hitting her where the guy would have told him. That's right, Goku was able to get out of that place, and with the power of the king of everything, he was able to restore his arm. How was it possible that you got out of my elemental prison? That doesn't interest you, damn. Now I'll make you pay for almost murdering me! Goku launched into the attack with 100% of his power, giving Bayakua more problems. However, he was still able to keep up with him. I want to have that Saiyan in front of me. I'll have to test his powers myself. Daiku! Bring me that subject immediately. I don't care what method you use. I want to have him before me. As you order, my lord. Both warriors would have been very even. However, Bayakua, at that very moment, was taking the advantage of the battle. You turned out to be a great opponent. But let's see if you can handle this. Body, resist the power of the king of everything with the power of Kaioken! Double Kaioken! No, Goku! The power you're using cannot be supported by your body! You can use it for a maximum of 15 seconds! Regardless of what Xenosama said, Goku would use this technique. When he activated it, he would feel how all his bones were breaking. However, he wouldn't care. Oh, my power goes into this blow! 
Great Eliminator, blow of the king of everything! The power of Goku exerted in his right fist was terrifying, and Bayakuya himself would realize this, which raised a large part of his power to be able to stop such a bestial attack. I see that your body is being affected by all that power. That power does not belong to you. That's not true power. After this, you'll be useless, and you won't be able to increase your powers again, because your energy veins, they will explode. You're not fighting with an amateur. I know what my body is capable of, and I'm not going to die. This won't be my end, since I haven't fulfilled my mission. Bayakuya would use a great attack to counteract the attack that would be sent against him. However, when he hit Goku with his blow, it would go through him. What the hell? An illusion? Being gods that eliminate all beings with a single blow, I thought this could work for me. You don't have the combat experience that I have. Goku's attack had hit Bayakuya, sending him flying thousands of meters. Gah! That punch has hurt so much! I can't believe the power of that attack! But Goku's attack would not have ended there. Goku at a speed that even exceeded Bayakuya's superior view was able to hit him in the stomach, causing him to spit out blood. I have only five seconds left with this power. I'll use my final blow. Take this divine captive blow! That's right. Goku's last blow was able to knock out Bayakuya. At that precise moment, Goku detransformed falling to the ground, badly injured and unconscious. At that very moment, Deku would have arrived, restoring everyone's energy and taking only Goku and Vegeta to the Great Broly's palace. At that moment, he arrived. Here are the two Lord Warriors. Okay, leave them in some rooms until they recover. Meanwhile, out of all that place, Daishenken would have managed to create an extremely powerful seal, which allowed him to seal any dimension that connects with the Room of Time. This won't be enough. Let's hope we have enough time to become powerful. Trust us, gods of destruction. We will stop those Saiyans one way or another. Returning to Broly's palace, both Saiyans would have woken up. I have no stress in my body. How weird. I thought that Kaioken was going to affect me much more. This is amazing. I had a brutal power increase. At that moment, they both felt a power that even those would make them tremble. Whose is this awesome power? I can't believe it! The owner of this power is a being that must be at the top of everything. I can't measure his power. Both Saiyans would come out and they would be expecting by Broly and Deku. So they woke up. That seems excellent to me. Sir, you sure of what you're going to do? You have saved us. First, I must thank you. I don't know what your action is do, but thank you. You are a Saiyan like us. But how do you have such power? Despite not being transformed, you made an extremely overwhelming power. So you realize that's right. I am a Saiyan. In fact, I'm the first Saiyan god and legendary at the same time. Everyone was surprised. However, there was not to be a time to be too surprised. Since at that moment, Broly would take out both Saiyans by shooting each of them with a strong blow. If they were able to take on the third most powerful god, Ice Emperor Bayakua, I want to see what they're capable of. The blow he gave us was very well placed and quite accurate. I can't believe the power he possesses. We can't trust this guy, or else we won't be able to make it out alive to tell about it. Goku would go into Super Saiyan Phase 3 Ultra Instinct with the power of a god of destruction and Vegeta with Ultra Ego. That's right, they began to exchange blows at surprising speed. However, for Broly, it was child's play since he just dodged and evaded his blows. Damn, if you had the power to hit us, you... Goku wouldn't finish his sentence since Broly would have held him by the head, dragging him across the surface. You must not tell me clearly that I will attack you. I am not so merciful. Vegeta would jump up to help Goku, but he would be useless. Broly was holding each warrior with each of his arms. My power has no comparison. You are nothing more than garbage next to me. Goku and Vegeta would sneak attack Broly, however none of their attacks were effective. That's right, the power of Super Ultra Saiyan God didn't even compare to the power of a king of everything. Goku, with his current powers, won't be able to deal with that guy. You better think fast about a way out, or that bloodthirsty guy will kill you. 
I know, but I really don't know what I can do. His power is so immense, I can't let go of his grip. Is that all you have? Are you really Saiyans? You two don't look like more than simple insects. Damn it! Don't make fun of us, especially me. I'm the prince of the Saiyans! Both warriors began to put much more power into their blows. However, Broly's power was so much that with one hand, for each one, he was able to subdue them. Meanwhile, outside of all those universes, there were 12 gods of destruction in their arduous training. That's right, they would not be easy prey for the Saiyan who would have absorbed Xenosama's powers. Meanwhile, in Universe 11, there was the god of destruction, Vermuth. Margarita, what chance do we have in this coming battle? From what I understand, the Saiyan Goku and Vegeta come from a warrior race. Their power has no limits. I don't know exactly, but we don't have enough power. We'll be destroyed imminently. I can't believe those two Saiyans have the power to make even a king fear him at all. It's incredible. In another universe, to be more exact, at Universe 7, there was Beerus, who would have achieved a transformation that would have increased his power in an incredible way, being at the same with an angel, but not above an angel supreme as was Whis. Sir Beerus, I can tell that his power has grown in an incredible way. Very proud of you and your new power. All this power is to assassinate those two Saiyans, although deep down I don't want to do it. Our orders are from the true kings. That's right, Birasama, we don't have any other choice. But still, those Saiyans were nothing more than a nuisance to us. You're right, Wiss. The only thing we have to do is eliminate them so that all the twelve universes enter into peace. Meanwhile, in the king's palace of everything, there was a Daishenken talking with Xenosama. My lord. What will we do if the power of those Saiyans rises much higher, and they are able to break the seal? Well, whatever is in our hands, those damned are the only hindrance to our plans. Those damned Saiyans, they've always opposed me. I understand, sir. With your permission, I'm going to raise my power. Daishenken would leave the kingdom altogether, going to a room which made his power increase in an extremely incredible way. Returning to the battle, Goku and Vegeta were very injured. No matter how they attacked, they were always evaded by the power of the great Broly. I really didn't have to use 50% of my full power. They're ridiculously weak. I haven't even gone into my combat form. What did you say? So all this time, this has only been a game for you. Deku, who was watching the entire battle, it seemed, the power of those Saiyans is impressive. Being able to eliminate most of the Supreme Gods with the exception of the three most powerful, Broly's being the strongest, he's treating them like children. In another place, there was Hydra that had already covered all her energies. Damn, those bastards will pay me. They won't get away with it. I'll kill them. Now at that precise moment, a new Supreme God will arrive. What are you supposed to do here, Ryota? I could feel the great battle you had against those Saiyan gods. Do you come to make fun of me? Of course not. What I come to offer you is an alliance, since like Broly, those two guys are Saiyans. We cannot allow new Saiyan gods to appear wanting to dominate everything. But, but, but what are you saying? Do you want to face the great god Broly-sama? With just one of his blows, he is capable of tearing it to pieces. I know. But before facing him, we must drink the blood of the ancient supreme god of death. With his power, we will be invincible warriors, being able to defeat whoever stands in front of us. Ancient supreme god of death? I've never heard of him. Who is he? It's a legend from millions of years ago, who was the one who ruled this entire dimension. And a warrior named Yamoshi was able to exterminate him. But what I found out now is that he was not able to exterminate him without sacrificing something. He lost life that day. How the hell do you want us to bring to life a being that we don't know if he exists? He existed, since I have his essence in my possession. We had to open a portal, leaving the terrible essence which was known as the essence of slaughter. What the hell is that, Ryota? The power it gives off is uncomprehensible. We'll die if we try to master such power. No, Hydra. If we drink the blood of the ancient supreme god, we'll be able to master this power. 
After a few moments, Ryota was able to convince Hydra. That's right, both gods went out throughout the great universe in search of the blood of the first god of death. At that precise moment, they felt like giant powers were colliding with each other. Damn, that's the power of the great Broly and he's fighting with those damn Saiyans. Exactly, Hydra. Those three unite, they would be able to end everything that exists in this dimension in the dimension of the normal gods. Both of them, much more determined than before, began to search for the blood of the ancient god of death until they could find it. That's right, when they found it, a silhouette appeared on the, her forehead. Those who have found a little of my blood, drink it, and you will receive great power. But in exchange, you will have to bring me to life. I always knew that I would meet you again, father. So you are Ryota. From what I see, you have done my will. Now do it. Drink my blood. So they will end all that damn Saiyan race. What do you mean, father? What does this mean, Ryota? Everything I've told you is true, but omit the part where the old god of death was my father. That's why I'm the second most powerful god, and Broly? Ha ha ha! Broly is the son of the legendary Yamoshi. What the hell did you just say? How is that possible? Millions of years ago, my father named Akinai Heleng was the ruler of everything. That's right, my powerful father has no rival. Until one day a powerful warrior came to confront him. He called himself Yamoshi, the father of the Saiyans. Their battle was legendary. It lasted a few days, both almost unlimited powers. But that damn Saiyan increased his power much more while the battle was going on. That's right, he no longer had any more power. He decided to detonate to take my father along with the... I can't believe it, but why did two subjects with such great powers face each other? At that moment, lightning would strike the ground and the sky would become thunderous. You will drink my blood, or not pathetic god. I'm sorry, sir, of course, and these are also fed up with all these damn Saiyans. Both warriors drank the blood of the ancient god of death, however, at that moment, Hydra would feel something strange in his being. What's happening to me? I'm sorry, Hydra, it's not personal, you're just collateral damage, but I'll do your will. We'll finish off one of those Saiyans. At that moment, a great explosion was present. However, all the power of the supreme god Hydra would have been absorbed by said source. Just a little more and I'll wake up completely. Returning to the battlefield, both Saiyans were not able to fight as a team to face said Saiyan. Daioken! Goku would leave Broly without vision for a few moments. At that precise moment, he would take Vegeta and teleport to another place. What are you doing, Kakarot? No matter how much we hide our key, that guy will find us and tear us apart. I can't believe all his power. We'll not allow it. We'll use the fusion. I still keep that potra of that supreme Kaioshin gave us. I'm not given to merge with you, damn insect. Damn it, Vegeta. It's the only way that we have against that monster, since we have not even fighted together with it. Are you sure, Kakarot, that if we merge, we'll be able to defeat him? I'm not sure about this. What I'm sure about is that if we obtain a power we'll never seen before. What they didn't know was that Broly was only testing them, but he wasn't being friendly at all. So they thought he wanted to kill them, and at that moment he found them. They have no escape. It'll be their end. Take this damn- Broly would have changed to a large sphere of key with the intention that these, due to the desperation of dying, increase his powers more. Throw it at me quickly, insect! Goku would throw the Potter appended at him. Now, yes, we'll be able to eliminate this dam! Both warriors came together, giving birth to the powerful Vegito. At that moment, all the universes of said dimension trembled, making the gods feel such terrible power. What the hell? This power is perhaps that of two Saiyans! I can't believe it! In all the universes, they were commons similar to that of the Ice Emperor by Akua. What the hell is going on? I feel the key of a completely powerful being near those Saiyans. Not even their power outshines them. Who is it? His power doesn't lose against mine. Vegeta would touch the great sphere of power with his hands, starting to run with this. What? I can't believe it! 
At that moment, Vegeta would kick him, throwing him off the planet from which they were fighting. Broly would observe a new warrior. They would not observe Goku or Vegeta. Who are you? And what did you do with the two Saiyans? Kakaroto and Vegeta decided to form a single being. I'm the fusion of both, and the name is Vegito. The power of those two was so great that their union would form a warrior of such power. I can't believe it. However, a powerful blow would take Broly out of his thoughts. Vegito began to attack without warning. Broly, having not raised his power, was in a few troubles. Damn it. This bastard's putting pressure on me in an incredible way. I can't believe it. Take this cursed feeling of power of a Saiyan King! Eliminator attack of the great Vegito! Vegito would have loaded a large sphere in his hands with the energy of the king of everything. Said attack was capable of eliminating a being much more powerful than him. Deku was watching this entire battle would be surprised. Mister, dodge that attack! I can feel the power of a king of everything in that incredible technique! However, he wouldn't have given him time. The attack hit him squarely. The veins of Broly's body were popping. It was obvious that he was making an effort. I realize you're a worthy opponent, but how about this? Broly would raise a large part of his power, managing to stop little by little. I can't believe what I'm seeing. He's stopping a king's attack completely with his hands. Broly would send the attack flying. With a loud shout, it began to increase his power in an overwhelming way. Broly was raising his power in an incredible way, causing multiple dimensional cracks to be created all over the space. It's amazing how the power of the Supreme God, even with the fusion, I'm not sure I could beat it. Broly would have finished raising his power. His hair would have turned silver. Broly had gone into combat form, with which he was able to face all the Supreme Gods, except the second and third, since these had a similar power. Who the hell are you? What have you done, done with the Saiyans, Saiyans I was fighting with? So, so you didn't, didn't notice. notice. Well, well, I'm the fusion of both Saiyans. I'm Vegito. And this is Vegito Ultra Instinct. Vegito would go Ultra Instinct, surprising Broly and Deku, who was watching this battle. How is it possible with that two Saiyans from the world outside have so much power? It is a fucking nightmare. I see that with you I have to use a large part of my power. I hope I'm prepared. Broly having gone into combat form, he was confident. Meanwhile outside that dimension were all the gods with his rigorous training. In Universe 11 was the destroyer god Vermouth training together with his angel Margarita. Margarita, we have trained enough for today. I think we can give ourselves a decent rest. Of course not, Mr. Vermouth. The existence of the 12 universes is at stake. If we are not powerful enough, we will die. If we don't rest enough, we won't be able to make our key recover quickly. Margarita would accept that the god of the destroyer Vermouth has her rest. However, she was a bit upset, and Vermouth had noticed this attitude that the angel was having. Everything was similar in the 12 universes, and this was all because Xenosama's negative power was flowing through the 12 universes, affecting the fundamental pillars of each universe. Meanwhile on Earth, all of those were normal months had passed since what happened. The only one who continued to train hard was Goten, who had the hope of being able to return to his father. I need a training partner, but I don't know who to tell. At that moment, he would feel the key of Trunks, who would leave that place at a great speed. At that moment of meeting him, they began to talk. Long time no see, Trunks. How have you been? Hello, Goten. Very good, and you? A little boring. I want my father to come back from the planet so Beerus, so that he could train with me. So that's what these bastards told you? What do you mean, Goten? Those cursed locked up my father and Mr. Vegeta in the room of time because they believed they were a threat. No, I can't believe it. They wouldn't be able to do this to our parents. It's the truth, Goten. You better not train so that when they come out, I know they'll be proud of our powers. It seems good to me. So that's why no one wanted to talk about my dad. We'll become very powerful being able to make them proud. 
Meanwhile, on the planet of Beerus, he was training, since he had to manage to obtain a new transformation which was able to overcome all the gods of destruction and being at 50% of power of Daishenken before he trained. That's right, Daishenken at the end of his training had also achieved abysmal power, being on par with the super king of all. Returning to the dimension, both warriors began with a great battle. Both were very even and very injured at that moment. A strong rumble was felt through the multiverse. It was nothing more than Vegeta's power. Since Xenosama's essence was merging with it, Broly felt like Vegeta's power, instead of decreasing, was increasing. What the hell? How can she raise his power like that without an emerging transformation? Is he also a legendary Super Saiyan? Vegito kept screaming, raising his power in a terrifying way, causing disasters all over the place. Daiku was trembling at feeling such a beastly power. Sir, the power of this individual has already surpassed all the gods, being able to eliminate them with a single blow except the three most powerful. Elsewhere, the Ice Emperor King Bayakua was surprised by the battle that was taking place far away from his universe. That battle is on another planet. I can't believe it. The power of those Saiyans is absurdly incredible. <laughs> So they weren't using all of their power. Meanwhile, with the Supreme God Ryota, he managed to convince each Supreme God to destroy Broly. However, what he was doing was giving his father much more power and being able to master the massacre energy. When Ryota's father absorbed the last Supreme God, a light would make all those multiverses illuminate with a great light. What the hell? Another great power has appeared, but unlike Broly and that Saiyan, he's pure evil. But from one moment to another, all that majestic power had disappeared. Akiyani Heleng had disappeared with all his ki to be able to master all that bestial power. Akiel and his son would go to different universes to master the new powers. Father, what will our first move be? The first thing we need to find out is how powerful Yamoshi's descendant has become. He's the most powerful god among the 12 supreme gods that existed, but I doubt that his power compares with his. At that moment, they also felt the collisions of their fists. Whose other power is this? There's a new Saiyan that has come to this multiverse. I see. So if we have to train hard to be able to face them. Father and son began to train to increase their powers greatly. Returning to the battle, Broly had already decided to end it. Your power is incredible, but you still lack the power to match for me the legendary Ultra Super Saiyan God. Broly increased his power much more, where he even had muscles grow even more. However, with his large size, he retained incredible speed, since in a few microseconds, he was able to deliver a strong blow to Vegito that would leave him out of harm's way combat. You're the second most powerful guy I've ever faced. Broly would return to his base state, however he also received great damage in the battle. After a few days in which Vegeta would wake up, they would unfuse becoming Goku and Vegeta again. So they woke up. So they know. I don't want to kill them. I just want to know how far their power goes. Ah, I understand. <laughs> Sorry for attacking you. Don't worry, they're very powerful, but that fusion is their trick up their sleeve since the power they generate is incredible. But tell me, what brings you to the world of the Supreme Gods? We were imprisoned by the great Price Daishenken and Xenosama. I see, so those insects are still alive. Ah, uh, Xenosama's good for nothing. Goku began to tell everything that happened to Broly, which he would understand. Now I understand everything. You being of the same race and not having negative energy are welcome to this universe whenever you want. Goku and Vegeta would raise their power by returning to the Room of Time. That's right, from that place, they began to increase their powers in an incredible way, managing to open a dimension towards the Tremor of Kamisama. However, when they left, all they felt is a key absurdly powerful. All the gods, angels, and high priests, and the king of everything managed to perceive such power that would make all the twelve universes shudder. Goten and Trunks, feeling the key of their parents, went quickly to the place of Kamisama. After a few minutes, they would arrive. Goten would run to hug his father, just like Trunks would do to Vegeta. I missed you so much, Dad. Forgive me for not being able to do anything when those bastards betrayed you. A long time without seeing you, Goten. I can feel how you've become very powerful. I'm very proud of you. Hello, Dad. Long time no see. My mom had told me that you were training on the planet of Mr. Beerus. 
That damn insect will pay me. But Trunks, your power has grown in a surprising way. You filled me with pride that you're my son. At that moment, Beerus the Destroyer God of Universe 7 would appear in front of all of them. So they managed to get out of that place. Apparently they are hard to kill, damn monkeys. I'm surprised how even with the High Priest's seal you were able to get out of said dimension. You really are two warriors of great powers. On this occasion, I'll finish with you two damned. Let's see if you can, damn it. I highly doubt it. That moment, Beerus began to increase his power in an incredible way, causing the entire Universe 7 to tremble. However, when Goku felt how Beerus was raising his power in an incredible way, an air wave would send him off planet Earth, since it is said place where they would still see people who had not betrayed him. Here in space, if you can unleash all your power, go ahead. Damn, I hope you don't regret what you're doing. Beerus again began to increase his power in a scary way. Beerus would have passed to the new transformation of him with 100% of all his power. Now praise the power of a super god of destruction! Ha ha ha! Damn insect, your power is pathetic! Don't worry Kakarot, I'll take care of this clown. Vegeta would go off of the Ultra Ego, which he would be able to surprise Beerus and Whis with his power that he gave off. Whis also wanted to pounce on Vegeta, but at that moment, Goku would take him by the arm, giving him a strong blow that he was not able to dodge, thrown thousands of kilometers through that universe. How could he hit me? This can't be true! At that moment, a great battle would begin between the most powerful deities of Universe 7. However, despite the fact that Whis and Beerus had trained, they were no match for the Saiyans, who were only playing with them. Goku, kill them! You have no choice, and when all this is over, you will revive them with the Super Dragon Balls. All their energy is corrupted. Currently, there's nothing that can be done. I understand, Zenshan. I'm sorry, Wissan. was the best teacher I could have, but now everything ends. Divine Punisher! Goku would lodge a tiny sphere of ki, which would cause Whis to disintegrate, leaving no trace of it. Beerus would be surprised to witness how Son Goku had ended Whis's life without any effort. How could a mortal end the life of a guardian angel? This is amazing. I can't believe it. However, at that moment, a voice would echo from his back. This is also your end, Beerus. If you never intended to kill us, we'll revive you with the Super Dragon Balls. But if your intention was always to kill us, you'll stay in the other world forever. At that moment, the Daishenken would arrive along with 11 remaining gods of destruction, where everyone was surprised to realize that Beerus, the most powerful god of all, had been easily defeated. At that precise moment, the Daishenken began to raise all his power in a way of bestial, since he was going to fight seriously from the beginning. Daishenken would continue to raise his power in an incredible, amazing way, making even all the universes tremble while he raised all his power. Even with all this power, I won't be able to defeat that dam. I better absorb the energy of all these dam. It's for the greater good. Daishenken, by raising all his power, an angelic light was noticed throughout the universe. I'm sorry, gods and angels, but now you will be a part of my power. Keychains! Divine Rapture! Some chains of dark energy were entangled in all those present. Father, but what are you supposed to be doing? I'm sorry, Wiss, but if not even the most powerful god was able to face it, do you think you can do it? I don't know if I can do it with my power. For that reason, I will keep all your powers. These Saiyans will annihilate everything! We should not have trusted you! Only if I allow it. Daishenken finished absorbing everyone's power. Now if I wait for you damn mortals to be ready, I will make you feel the greatest agony you have ever felt. I will kill you until you beg me to end your miserable lives. You are cursed! You and the Xenosum of the future are behind all this! I can't believe how scum you are to be able to kill your own descendants! 
Those bastards were nothing more than a source of my power. Now they will feel the true terror. It won't be so. Vegeta's mouth had been silenced by a strong blow. Daishaken was able to hit him even though he was with Ultra Ego, Vegeta was not able to dodge several sneaky blows that Daishaken was giving him. Vegeta was surprised by the power that this cursed man had achieved in this time. The power of Daishaken had risen in a surprising way, and both Goku and Vegeta would realize this. Damn worm, I'll not let you get away with it. I'll see that you have great power, but it will not be enough to defeat me. Vegeta began to attack Daishenken, however, with the power that he had absorbed, he was far superior to Vegeta. He was no match for this being. Vegeta, if you do not use all your power, you will be no match for that wretch who preferred to absorb all his loved ones instead of accepting defeat. Don't give me orders, you damn insect. But you're right, I'll use everything I have on this wretch. Vegeta began to increase his power in an amazing way. Vegeta at an incredible speed would go to the powerful Ultra Ego Phase 3, with which all the universes were affected by such power. Even the power of this would reach the forbidden universes. I can't believe it! The power of those Saiyans, is it a much good? And apparently they were not fused. This is the power of only one of them. In a very remote part, Ryoto was training with his father. They would also feel this great power. That power is incredible, and apparently it's from the other universes. It's impossible for a power to reach this dimension. Apparently, the beings in these millions of years have evolved in an incredible way, reaching great powers. But even so, they will not be rivals for us, since we're prodigies, and we have to fulfill an even greater dream, even if it costs us our own lives. Returning to Universe 7, Daishaken and the Princess Saiyan's Vegeta were having a great battle. They were hitting each other at surprising speeds. There was no clear winner to be seen, however Vegeta would give him a powerful blow in the face to Daishaken. But at that moment, a laugh would rumble throughout the universe. Ha 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 ha! This power is amazing. Your attacks alone are tickling me. I don't feel anything, damn. Now, do you want to just caress my face? That's how you attack. Daishaken, from one moment to the next, would deal a strong blow to Vegeta, who almost dodged it. However, the planet behind it would be left in rubble. But, but what? The power of his blow is overwhelming. This curse has turned into a monster. Vegeta will never be able to fight Daishaken. The power level is like heaven and earth. All that damn wanted was to give him hope and then break all of Vegeta's pride. Goku, Daishaken's power is increasing. From what I can tell from my counterpart in the way, it's better between the two of them to finish off Daishaken. Because if Daishaken is so powerful, I can't even imagine how powerful he became that damned. Goku would step forward with the intention of intervening in the battle, but at that moment, Vegeta would yell, Do not interfere, Kakarot! I'll take care of this doom, even if I have to end my life. That's right, Vegeta was going to sacrifice himself. Vegeta would take Daishaken and begin to increase his power in an incredible way. His whole body was charging with energy. How pathetic all mortals can be. Do you think that with a pathetic power, your final explosion will do something to me? You will die in vain. I hope to see that. Let's see what you think when I use my detonation at maximum power. Daishaken was confident, but after a few moments, his face changed to a worried one when he observed how Vegeta's determination did not give way. Do you plan to explode? You will not be able to kill me. Now you start to shake. I hope you're so sure when I detonate all my power. Vegeta already managed to collect a large part of power from him. Vegeta would rise into the air. Kakarot, take care of Trunks, please. Divine multiversal final explosion, die! Dad, please don't do it. Trunks would transform into Super Saiyan Blue going to rescue his father. However, Goten would grab him tightly. We can't get close. His simple pressures can end our lives. <laughs> You've always been my partner, my friend, my greatest rival. I'll not allow you to die, Vegeta! 
Total armor of a king of everything. Divine protective seal. An explosion lit up that whole universe. The life of a great warrior was about to go out. The life of the Princess Saiyans was about to come to an end. The proudest warrior in Universe 7, while this explosion was happening, it would be said to be Vegeta. I see. That's how it feels to die for someone else. Now I understand you, Kakarot. I hope to see you again in the afterlife. But at that moment, when everything seemed lost for the Prince of the Saiyans, a sphere of ki covered his entire body. That's right, the technique that Goku would have executed was activated at the precise moment to save Vegeta. How are you, Vegeta? Damn insect, so you saved me at the last moment. Or at least I destroyed that damn. Everyone was shocked when they heard a loud scream. <laughs> damn monkey, I swear that all this pain will return to you multiplied by a hundred. I can't believe how that damn guy endured all this explosion. Meanwhile, in the king's palace of everything was Zeno-sama. So die shaken is having problems. Apparently, if I have to fight, it's time to access my combat form. Xenosama's guardians approached him. For the protection of this entire multiverse and the orders of the king of everything, we give him all our power. With his power, no one will be a match for me. Xenosama began to absorb the power of his guardians. The king of the whole had the ability to give power to their guardians, but also form a single being. At that time, only the 12 universes felt such a tremor. Several timelines that felt that power, including the beings of the forbidden universes. What? What the hell happens now? Why is everything shaking? And this pressure in the air from who? Who is it? The power of the great Xenosama. I can't believe it. If he has transformed, that means he comes immediately. If I don't finish off these Saiyans, he'll exterminate me. Daishaken would go on the attack. I have to finish you now. I must not die at the hands of the king of everything. Goku would go Ultra Instinct Phase 3 Heavenly. But even with that power, he was no match for Daishaken. However, this was not his purpose. Goku wanted to give him a strong blow to merge with Vegeta. Get this! I'll say King Eliminator attack! The sound of a dragon resounded through that universe, and an immense dragon emerged from Goku's fist. Daishaken was trying to stop it even with his own body, but it was impossible. The condensed power was overwhelming. Goku would communicate telepathically with Vegeta. Vegeta, put on a Potara earring. Xenosama is approaching at an incredible speed, and even if we fight together, we'll be no match for him. You're just messing, your Kakarot. Get away from that dam. Let's merge. Goku managed to hit him by sending him flying at the beginning of Universe 7. At that moment, in the distance, Daishaken would observe how a light eliminated the entire immense universe, and a power that did not lose against that of Xenosama would be present. But now what happens? That power is as big as mine. Who is the new guy that has appeared? It easily obscures the presence of Daishaken. Daishaken would arrive at the battle site observing an imposing new warrior. Who the hell are you? I am the fusion of Kakaroto and Vegeta, and I am in charge of killing you. Vegeta would not trust himself and would go Ultra Instinct with maximum power, even combining Vegeta's Ultra Ego with which, with just three simple blows, he cut off the flow of energy to Daishaken. What the hell did you do to me? I can't release my power. I have sealed your main key veins. You'll not be able to increase your power unless you fix said key pass. The Shaker will launch himself furiously at Vegito. However, this was an extremely incredible speed that would give such a great blow which would make him writhe in pain. I never wanted to kill you, priest. But if Xenosama arrives and the two of them fight against me, it would be a big problem. Now you're not an opponent for me. Daishaken tried to give him a powerful blow, but at that moment, Vegeta would teleport behind him, going through his entire mouth with a strong blow, causing Daishaken to fall to the brink of death. This is your end. You should have never have sided with that evil Xenosama. Death. Big Bang Kamehameha! Increase a hundred times! Vegeta's attack was so powerful that even Xenosama, who was about to arrive in approximately 5 minutes, was able to observe such a detonation. Goten, Trunks, 
Get out of this place. The battle that's coming is on another level and I don't want you to get involved. Goten and Trunks would pay attention, going to planet Earth, Vegeta would launch a sphere of ki to the planet, protecting it from all outside attacks. At that moment, Xenosama would arrive on the battlefield. So you are the dark fusion of Goku and Vegeta. Those damn monkeys are always causing problems. But for now, I will kill all of you. Simple, thoughtless apes. Meanwhile, in the Forbidden Universes, the only four overgods left alive were surprised by the power that the said other universes battle was taking place. The power of that fusion is at my 95% power. It's incredible. I can't believe it. It can't be true, my lord. You're the descendant of the great Yamoshi. But it is. You're not beings that I can see below my shoulder. Returning to the battlefield, both warriors were staring at each other, and they were about to start a great battle that would decide everything in those 12 universes. But what they did not know was that an even more powerful warrior was stalking them. A battle never seen before was about to begin. That's right, the battle of the most powerful beings of those multiverses was about to begin. However, from the shadows, the ancient god of death was watching them. That's right, the god had left the Forbidden Universes because he wanted to end with the being that could bring him a problem in the future. I will wait until both are out of energy and on the verge of death, and at that moment, I will annihilate both of them. At that precise moment, a crack would begin that caused the entire universe. That's right, the clash of their fists had begun causing everything around them to be destroyed with the exception of the planet Earth. The power of Vegeta was so much that even withstood all that, surprised with the powerful Broly and Susano, both subjects were very surprised to feel their clash of fists to their universes. The power of both guys is so much that they even make my castle to be destroyed. I find this unbelievable. My lord, don't you think it'd be better if we went to that place? You're right, it's the wisest thing to do. But at that moment, they felt the power of Susano rise to the maximum. Broly a little surprised since the ancient god Susano was a peaceful being, and in the same way he was in the limits of the universe, Daiku and Broly would get going. Returning to the battle, Vegito and Xenosama was very evenly matched, that is, being a negative entity, his body was able to store much more power of darkness. Meanwhile, inside the body of Vegito, the voice of Xenosama could be heard. Vegito. Being part of the consciousness of my friend Goku, I'm able to communicate with you. You must quickly finish with that guy and run away, because there's much more powerful being that's stalking you. Aren't you sure of what you're telling me, Xenosama? I don't feel any evil presence. Trust me, it's a being that even surpasses the power of my counterpart. Vegito at that moment would be a little worried, because if a being that powerful surpassed his counterpart, was stalking them, then it'd be something to fear. At that moment, Vegito began to take the battle much more seriously and try not to spend so much energy. Meanwhile, in the limits of the universe was Susano, and at that moment, Broly and Deku arrived. Second most powerful god, Susano. What the hell's going on? Why is the sudden increase in your power? We've been deceived by that damn Ryota. I don't understand you. Explain yourself. The ancient god of death. That being was able to kill Yamoshi. The most powerful Saiyan known to date has been released. But how is that possible? Are you sure of what you're affirming? Susano at that moment would indicate a ruins, which only two beings were able to invoke them. The ancient Saiyan god Yamochi and the ancient god of death, Psyche. Broly at that moment felt a chill go through his body. Uh, but I don't understand why you expelled your power like that. We have been sealed in these multiverses. The ancient god of death considers the Saiyan that's fighting with the king of everything a megaversal danger. You've deduced it in an excellent way, so that we do not interfere. He has sealed us in these universes. Even though I'm an ancient god, I am Broly, the Super Saiyan legendary god. My power is unlimited. I'll destroy these useless barriers. Broly at that moment would begin to increase his power in an overwhelming way.
Meanwhile, with Vegeta and Xenosama, the battle was reaching its climax, so he, Vegeta's power, was overcoming him little by little. Xenosama, not having so much experience in combat, did not control the wear of energy. At that moment, Vegeta would use a little more of his power since he wanted to finish him quickly. Vegeta would use techniques of murder, which Susana taught him, leaving Xenosama very wounded. After approximately 25 minutes of battle, Xenosama had already lost more than half of all his power. Vegeta was about to end the life of Xenosama, but at that moment a murderous aura would fall all over that place. That's right, the power of Psyche had appeared and a ray of energy would end with Xenosama. However, his attack had been special, as it turned out that he turned him into simple dust, leaving no trace of its existence. Vegito, run away! Run away! You don't stand a chance against that guy! Vegito at an impressive speed would begin to move across the universe. You think you can run away from me, the ancient god of death? Don't be pathetic. Psyche in only two seconds was able to reach Vegito, who would be surprised by the speed of that guy. Don't you value your life? You should have run farther. Now I'll end your life. Vegito, no matter what, would get into a battle pose. That's right, his body was not able to take the initiative to finish, since the aura of that guy in front of him looked like that of a giant which stole all his power. What the hell are you? I can't believe that there's someone with a power like yours. Psyche at that moment would begin to approach Vegito, who had his guard ready. However, he was not able to observe the thousand blows that Psyche gave him in a matter of seconds. Psyche, with a strong kit, would send him to crash into a planet. My name's Psyche, and I'm the ancient god of death of the forbidden universes. My son Ryoto, or rather was, since I made him part of my power, but he was able to be part of that being that'll rule everything. And finally, I'll be able to finish with the cursed descendants of Yamoshi. I have the necessary power to finish with Broly. Psyche at that moment would begin to massacre Vegito, who was not able to do anything to him. Vegito, in a moment, was able to give him a blow. However, at that moment of touching his aura, his bones would sound, making contact with the pressure of that subject. The spirit of Vegeta was strong, being the fusion of the most powerful sayings of all universes, but even the spirit of Vegeta was being torn to pieces. That's right, he couldn't understand the mass of energy that was in front of him returning to the Forbidden Universe. The veins of Broly's body seemed to explode. That's right, his power was increasing to incredible levels, being able to crack some of his barriers. Broly was about to reach his limit. However, at that very moment, in his mind, he was able to observe his ancestor Yamoshi. My son, my offspring, you have enough power to be able to destroy those barriers. And you're not alone. I trust you with my power. At that moment, Broly's power would be restored almost immediately. And that was not all, since the power of Ultra Instinct had reached a new level. That's right, the power that it gave off was amazing. Broly, with a loud scream, had been able to destroy all the barriers that Psyche had placed in the universe. Broly and Susano began to fly at a high speed towards the great battle. Deku would stay in their universes because his power was not enough to help in this battle. The speed of both subjects was so fast that it even destroyed the realities themselves. At that moment, they were able to reach the battlefield. They'd be surprised since they were able to observe the imposing warrior who was able to defeat all the supreme gods together. He was totally slaughtered on the ground and on the verge of death. It seems to me that the son of the cursed Yamoshi has the little potential. I can see that you're able to destroy manner energy capabilities. Broly at that moment would throw him a furative blow which would send Psyche flying hundreds of meters through the universe. Broly would quickly take Vegito, throwing him to Susano. At that moment, Susano, with one of his divine techniques, would be able to make Vegito recover from all his wounds. But in the same way, at that moment, the fusion would end. The power Vegito had used had surpassed the power of his earrings. How can we defeat that guy? He was able to even humiliate Vegito! Vegito didn't say anything since he was terrified. That's right, Vegito was the one who had suffered a trauma, knowing that this guy was even more powerful than evil Xenosama, not being able to move a single finger. You're right, the power of that guy is incredible, but if we don't defeat him now, no one will be able to do it, and he'll destroy everything in existence. We can't allow that! We'll finish with the existence of that damned... Broly and Psyche were a little evenly matched, but what Broly didn't know was that Psyche was only using 40% of all his power. 
That's right, 40% was more than enough to have a battle with Broly, the most powerful being known up to that moment. Goku, my friend, there's a last hope for you to be able to end the life of this guy, but it's very risky. I don't care which one it is, as long as I'm able to end the life of that bastard, I can't allow him to destroy everything you've built. If things get complicated, I'll let you know telepathically. I have faith that between the four of us, we'll be able to defeat him. Now at that moment, Goku would pass through Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct with the power of Xenosama. This one would throw a small sphere of energy to Vegeta, which was a part of the power of Xenosama. I, the Prince of the Saiyans, and I'll let this cursed one kill my son Trunks. I plan to destroy him right here, even if it's my turn to sacrifice myself. Vegeta would go Ultra Ego Phase 3 with Susano, would increase his power to the maximum. The moment all would be launched against Psyche, which to everyone's surprise would begin to dodge their blows in an incredible way. From one moment to another, to each of them, and would give them a great blow, without thinking twice would throw them a large sphere of energy, which would explode leaving them with some wounds. No matter how many ants unite to defeat me, they'll never be able to defeat a dinosaur like me. My power is much greater than theirs. No matter how many ants we are, if all these ants unite, they could kill a dinosaur like you. I'll finish with one of your hopes, until the only thing you feel is terror. Psyche at that moment increased his power to 55% of all his power, being able to put all the warriors in great trouble. That's right, his power had grown in an overwhelming way that had been completely overcome. The power of this guy is really another level. His power is not able to be compared to anything or anyone. I have used all my assassination techniques, and none of them have had any effect. It's as if his body had received much more lethal attacks than the ones I'm granting him. Psyche at that moment would get tired of games, starting to leave each one of the present ones out of combat. At that moment, he would leave Goku out of combat, and this one in his mind would observe Xenosama. Zedjan, what happened? They've been defeated. Are you ready to use the last method? That's right, I'm ready. With this method, I don't know if your key veins will explode since it's a power beyond anything known. If I'm going to save you all, I don't care. As king of all, I grant the omnipotent power to this mortal name to Goku. Omnipotent seal activated. Goku at that moment would stand up and begin to increase his power and in such an amazing way that it seemed his power had no limit. Son Goku's body was releasing an incredible energy. That's right, his body would begin to glow, leading everyone surprised by the power that Son Goku was reaching. However, Psyche would not give so much importance because compared to his power, it was still not enough. Psyche at that time would begin to walk towards Vegeta. That's right, because he had planned to annihilate him, but not before torturing him. Stop, 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 damn dent! That's right, Son Goku's body was taking an impressive form. With a loud scream, Goku would make Psyche retreat with a sonic wave. That seemed like the roar of a beast. Son Goku's appearance had changed. That's right, his power had increased in a great way, but the greatest change was his appearance, since the upper part of his whole body had a shiny silver fur, which made him look like a celestial and angelic being. That's right, Son Goku's power had transcended to what goes beyond a king at all. He had been able to reach the omnipotence. I don't know what the hell happened to you, but just because you've grown a little more fur on your body won't change anything. That's what you think. Now I'm called Son Goku, the Z Angel. Psyche would take a few steps back because many millions of years ago, the legend had been told that reaching the power of an Angel Z was impossible. The Angel Z had the ability to destroy anything and create anything he wished. Don't say stupid things, that's impossible for someone like you. I don't care if you believe me, I'll finish you right now. Goku in a few milliseconds was able to give him hundreds of blows, which left Psyche badly wounded. In a moment, Goku began to hit him using only his tail. 
That's right, this time Goku's power had surpassed Psyche by dozens of times. I have millions of years more than you, so I have much more experience. Let's see what you think about this. Psyche at that moment would increase his power in such a way that, in the same way, the whole universe would begin to tremble. However, Goku would increase his level to the same level as his opponent to counteract the mass of destruction. No matter what you do, this moment will be the day of your death, so you better be prepared. At that moment that Psyche had finished increasing his power, he would launch himself to attack the guy that would be surprised, and Psyche was not the only one. All the others would be equally surprised when observing Goku in the same place. That's right, not even with his hidden power, he was able to confront him, since Goku had stopped his fist with his tail. Damn it! Uh, this can't be happening! You're a mere mortal! You even ended your son's life! You only care about yourself while I bear the responsibility of this whole multiverse! That's why I'm not allowed to lose! Goku at that moment would begin to massacre Psyche, who on this occasion was the one who could not do anything. I can't believe that Kakarot's power had increased to that level. The power he possesses is impressive, but what he said is true. His key veins will explode since the omnipotent power of Angel Z is impossible to withstand. You're wrong. The power he can be supported. The impossible thing is to activate it. He should have sacrificed everything, because if he had that power before, he would not have hesitated to use it. Kakarot, you're the most powerful warrior I've ever known, so I'm sure you won't die. I trust you, Kakarot! Goku and Psyche would continue exchanging blows, which Psyche was getting used to Goku's fighting style with each passing moment of the battle. Damn it! This bastard is starting to get used to this power. After all, he must be considered a being of immense power. What's wrong, Saiyan? Have you run out of energy reserves? That'd be impossible since Angel Z possesses unlimited power. Goku would increase his power again, but this time many of his bones would thunder. That's right, some of his bones were broken. Goku, without caring, would begin to give him the most powerful blows he could, since he knew that he could not maintain the power of Angel Z for much longer. After seven minutes of battle, Goku would begin to charge a powerful attack, which would define the battle. And in the same way, Psyche would begin to charge a great attack. Receives this! This attack carries all the hope of the universe! Galactic Fury! No matter what you say or do, your power is insufficient to defeat me, destroyer of gods! Both attacks began to collide, destroying the planets around them. That is the only planet that was still safe was planet Earth because when Goku activated the power of Angel Z, he had given a great part of his power to the planet he wanted to protect. After a few moments, the attacks had exploded, and when a great curtain of smoke and fire was formed, Goku would charge all the energy he had left in the last blow. That's right, Goku would execute his formidable dragon attack, which Psyche, not being prepared, would be caught imminently. Oh, now die! Psyche, in spite of being destroyed by that great attack, was putting up resistance. Goku would send all that was left of energy returning at that moment to its base state, and being out of combat, the great dragon to receive the remaining energy of Son Goku became immense, being able to destroy that subject. That moment, everything around him was wrapped in flames and thunder, as the attack had been devastating. It's right after that moment, Vegeta would approach where Goku was, giving him some of his energy, but he didn't react. In that case, Vegeta would take Goku in his arms. If you could please gather the Super Dragon Balls and restore all the universe, I'll stay with Kakarot. Both Supreme Gods would do what the Prince of the Saiyans had asked. After a few hours, everything destroyed by the evil Xenosama until the battle that had ended had been restored. No matter how long it takes, I'll be with you, you damn insect. After a few moments, all the gods would gather at the palace of Xenosama, bowing to Vegeta. At that moment, Beerus would step forward. We are sorry for everything that's happened. The mind control of the king of everything was so powerful that it made us do things that we didn't want to do. That's no longer important, but I want you to train and become the most powerful gods of all the multiverses in existence. As, As you, you command, command Vegeta-sama. Vegeta -sama. All the gods would go to their respective universes and would begin to train since one of the new kings of everything had ordered it. 
It had already been approximately 10 years since that great battle, in which the gods were compared to the power of the supreme gods. Broly, as well as Susano, had returned to observe how Goku was doing, who did not give any answer. Vegeta at that time would continue with his training, being able to reach the powerful Super Saiyan Phase 4, and in his most powerful transformation, he was able to combine his Ultra Ego Doctrine with Phase 4. Kakarot, I want you to wake up and see how powerful I've become. At that moment, an incredible power would be felt in the back of Vegeta, who would be surprised since that power seemed that even surprised him. You're right, you've become much more powerful, but I doubt very much that you'd be able to surpass me. Damn insect, until you wake up! At that very moment, both Saiyans would begin a great battle that would shake the 12 universes, even the universes of the Forbidden Universes. Until finally the day has come, Son Goku is awakened. Broly and Susano had quickly headed towards where the great battle was coming from. By the time they had arrived, they had both able to observe all the gods who were surprised. Son Goku has finally awakened, but his power is amazing. I thought that being unconscious for so many years, his power would diminish. Well, apparently we were all wrong, Mr. Beerus, because Mr. Goku's power is much more powerful than Mr. Vegeta's. Or on this occasion, I should call them the kings of everything. Both Saiyans would continue exchanging blows, and no clear winner could be observed. Vegeta, you've become very powerful. I don't know what happened all this time, but you're an excellent ruler. You don't have to remind me, I'm the prince of the Saiyans. Obviously, I'll be an excellent ruler. The battle of both the Saiyans would last approximately two more hours, in which both supreme gods would create powerful barriers, so that nothing of their exterior would be destroyed. It's time to finish the battle! I agree with you, insect. Both Saiyans at that precise moment flew at their maximum speed one against the other, giving each other a furative blow which would be able to knock them both out of combat. Well, well, it looks like this has ended in a draw. I didn't think Mr. Goku would be able to match the power of the King of All Vegeta, who has trained ever since Mr. Goku was knocked out in that battle. After a few hours, Goku and Vegeta would wake up and begin to talk about everything that had happened and how their energy veins were recovering from the time they had been out of combat. Mr. Goku, I sincerely apologize for everything that's happened when we were manipulated. Don't worry, Wiss. I knew you guys weren't capable of doing that to us without being manipulated. Mr. Goku, don't you want to go to Earth? That's right, Wiss. At this very moment, I was planning to go. Don't rush, insect. I want to go, too. Goku and Vegeta would arrive with teleportation, <laughs> leaving everyone surprised by the presence of Goku. At that moment, Chi-Chi would approach Goku. My Goku, my Goku! After so many years, you've returned! I'm sorry, Chi-Chi, for making you wait so long. Father, I knew you would wake up. I never gave up hope. Goku at that moment would begin to tell everything that had happened to his friends, who would understand everything that had happened in all that time. Gakura, you missed something very important. We're now the kings of everything. Goku would be very surprised by what Vegeta said. That's right, my friend Goku. I would love for you and Vegeta to be the new kings of everything, because you'll be excellent rulers. I trust you. If that's what your request is, Zenchan, I'll fulfill it. So don't worry. Thank you, my friend Goku. Goku and Vegeta would begin to have a great feast. That's right, Bulma had prepared one of the best meals for Goku and Vegeta. At that moment, Gotenks would arrive. That's right, Goten and Trunks had merged and would access the Ultra Instinct Phase 3. Dad, this is our power! I'm very proud of you. At the end of everything, both Saiyans would return to the Palace of the Whole since they had to control all the 12 universes and become much more powerful for some multiversal level threat. Are you ready, Vegeta, to be the new kings of everything? That's right. I'm always ready for everything. Well, guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now, without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.